Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, and I'm wearing my Mountain Hours t-shirt because my video, Argentine Solution, is Occupy Silver Bullet. For my unprophecy, won the video contest. Now, $500 prize. Thank you very much. Wayne Walton, who runs the Mountain Hours, and his contest was called The Solution to Defeat the New World Order Death Star. And I, mine was titled my three minute video, Argentine Solution is Occupy Silver Bullet for Mayan Prophecy. So here it is again, just to let you know what, it's only three minutes, but it explains how we can use a system that Argentina used, that Russia used, I'll tell you about that later, and we can all use it too. Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, and the silver bullet for the Occupy movement is the Argentine solution, which can fix the planet before next Christmas in fulfillment of the Mayan prophecy for the better. Dubbed the bank fighter extraordinaire, here I am being arrested at the IMF World Bank Conference in Toronto in 1982 when I was all alone. When you look around at the world, you have to admit it's pretty scary. We have a police state being set up all around us. It's as if there's a big slavery system oppressing us and there seems to be no way out. If you YouTube for Prime Minister of the Planet, I'm the only declared candidate. How dare I? Well, I was the teaching assistant of Canada's only mathematics of gambling course. In the United States, I was known as the professor at the Taj Mahal in Atlantic City. I'm the great Canadian gambler. And if there's anybody who can show you how to win, it's me. Even though I'm in the Guinness Book of Records for losing more elections than anyone else in history. So, what makes the biggest winner the biggest loser? A fixed game. I'm a protest instructor with a solution to offer as opposed to a protest obstructor who has nothing to do but tear down the fence. At the G20, cops stood out of the line to shake my hand. In 1983, I was allowed into the Queen's receiving line with a pegot sign. What could have been my solution? Well, the Argentine solution, back in 2001, they were broke. By 2006, all foreign debt paid off. How'd they do that? The unions told the government, you're not going to lay us off. We'll accept small denomination provincial bonds in our pay that we can use to pay for our hydropower, taxes, medical, and licenses, HTML. All the people in the provinces took the bonds as currency. They laid nobody off, hired more people, all debt paid off in five years. We can do it too. In 1999, I traveled 11 European countries and paid for 39 nights out of 40 with an IOU for a night back in Canada, denominated in hours. You can too. In 2000, I was invited to the United Nations to do the speech on banking, where they passed the Unilex Time Bank Resolution. Someday you'll be able to pay your debts with time. So what are the chances the Occupy Movement's going to pick up the Argentine solution? Well, when it comes to fixing mammon, Jesus said they'll forever be hearing without hearing and seeing without seeing or understanding. And all we have to do is accept each other's bonds denominated in time between countries and we've created the perfect new money to save our planet. Dennis Kucinich's bill, which would have the Treasury take over the Fed and run the money system interest-free, and no one's supporting it. British bookmakers William Hill offered me a million to one odds on my bet that the Mayan prophecy would be done by next Christmas. So let's prove them wrong. So lend unto others as you would have them lend unto you. Interest free. So the back of the t-shirt reads, Mountain Hours are Summit County's new local currency which is issued interest free based on time. This is the organic solution to the globalist tyranny which has enslaved the world in impossible debt. Patriotic Americans of the Occupy and Tea Party movements have spoken. There's a problem. We have a solution which does not rely on another corrupt election or uh, more phony saviors. Free, responsible people must take action to be the change in the world. Interest-based money creation and lending are the problem. One cannot pay P plus I, principal plus interest, when only P exists. Summit County, Colorado has the solution. We will have more money, lending, and banking without interest. Mountain Hours, 970-817-5881, Wayne Walton's organization. And here are a couple of hours, a Wayne Walton uh, mountain couple of hour bills. 
So if I ever go down there, I'll have some of my uh, accommodations covered. Anyway, should the Argentine solution, and we could call it the Russian solution, because a couple of articles have just come out recently, I'll do a whole video when I read these, that point out that in Russia, when the banking system crashed, local governments were authorized to issue their own local currencies to pay their workers with, just like the bonds in Argentina, and they had 750 republics and cities issuing their own chips, and about 25,000 enterprises. We have Canadian Tire money in Canada, shell dollars. Well, just imagine 25,000 different businesses paying their employees with chips that you can buy their product with value. So anyway, if the Argentine-Russian solution can go viral, a solution to pay the unemployed who are in the streets screaming for jobs, Screaming for jobs is not as smart as screaming for paychecks if you can tell them where the paycheck should be coming from. Tell them you'll take provincial bonds or government currencies to do work for your governments. Tell them you're ready to work if they'll simply give you some government paper without any interest on it. Johnny Engineer Turmel running for Prime Minister of the Planet on the Argentine Solution and the world can be fixed by Christmas in fulfillment of the Mayan prophecy, where this hell of a planet becomes the hell of heaven of a planet, rather than most people who think this hell of a planet's going to get worse.